started the day by getting a ticket from a police officer uh, going through a stop sign on my bicycle. <laughs> I got pulled over by a whole, whole, whole thing, a car and a cop that has a gun and a baton and mace and everything to stop criminals. He pulled me over on my bicycle. And he said, uh, well, what's the hurry? He said to me. And I said, I'm on a bicycle. <laughs> Oh, it's a video. It's, it's good. Just sitting there staring at it like an asshole. You'll be back in Chicago. You're doing a bunch of shows and hanging out with your friends and stuff, doing, right? I'm uh, doing one show. Cool. <laughs> what show is that? That's at the Beat Kitchen. Doing the brunch show. <laughs> All right. At 11:30. And uh, yeah, I went to a wedding in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Oh, okay. And uh, and uh, doing uh, doing my comedy review. Cool. Comedy programming at the Bee Kitchen. I couldn't be happier. Went into work where I closed caption television that nobody should be watching in the first place. I guarantee that deaf people can ruin their lives just as equally as people that have hearing. I get to work, I find out I have to close caption pornography. Because by law, anything on television has to have it has to have closed captioning, including the Playboy channel. So I had to write down, ooh, right there, right there, <laughs> for four hours, <laughs> inevitably covering up the very reason you'd be watching pornography. <laughs> <laughs> Who have you uh, been hanging out with, and did you, have you seen any shows since you got here? Do you have any fun like uh, that? I went to stop at the Globe. Last night, oh, I didn't yeah. recognize anybody except for Dave Angelo, who also doesn't live here. Wow. There's my other friend. Hey, what's up, Lisa? How's it going? I'm, I'm being interviewed by a camera. <laughs> I think it's a, I think it's an elaborate prank. <laughs> so, uh, how how are things in LA right now? What are you up to? Uh, <laughs> so it looks like every time I see pictures of you guys, it looks like all of life is beaches and ball games. It looks pretty awesome. Well, there's only that one picture of the ball game. Is what it was. <laughs> yeah. There's just one it just picture made a, of us all at a baseball game. Just made a really good impression on me. all the time. It's like, that looks like so much fun. Oh, every day. That was a nice day. It was a nice day of baseball. Yeah. Fun. I even bought a Cubs hat. Everybody's from Chicago. Yeah. We walked through it. It's a nice feeling. The kids are well. The kids are doing good. The mics are out there. We got, uh, we just captured Brady Novak. Yeah, that's what I heard. I do shows every night, and they go well, and I'm still not making any money. And it's uh, getting pretty goddamn frustrating. Really? Well, that's nine a... years. Nine years for free. Because people always... Nobody does anything for free for nine years. Wow. People always say in Chicago, like, you just accept the fact that you're not doing it for money. Then they're like, you go to L.A., that's where the industry is, that's where you make money. Is that a lie? Uh, a a a after nine years, I would, I would like to pay a bill. <laughs> One bill a month, and I can go, comedy's gonna pay that bill. Yeah. It's hit or miss. It's been a shit career. It's a real bad choice. <laughs> I don't recommend it to anybody. Anybody at uh, open mics, quit. At least four or five times a week, maybe some of you work in an office, at least four or five times a week, I will push my rolling office chair back away from my desk and yell out, Am I alive? <laughs> Can you give us any hints about what uh, what jokes you're going to tell tonight? Hints? Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, about uh, jokes about hate myself, <laughs> jokes about not being happy with myself, <laughs> jokes about not enjoying my life. Uh, there's one about uh, Trader Joe's and then uh, some other stuff. <laughs> How would I give it away?
Welcome back to Chicago. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. You've been in New York for like what, like a year? Just under a year. I left in September and it's now the, the end of July. What have you been doing out there? Oh, you know, just a lot of, you know, my life in New York, I'm a, I'll tell you, it's a lot like uh, Holden Caulfield from Catcher in the Rock, except I have worse luggage, okay? <laughs> Should I do that? Huh? There you go. <laughs> yeah. Great to be here. You know, recently I've been doing a lot with myself lately. Recently joined a Vietnam War reenactment society. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, we meet on college campuses, get stoned, and then apply for Canadian visas. <laughs> I read, I read something that you wrote once when you first moved there that you were living in like a small space and because you had so many electronics, lights were blinking all the time and you couldn't sleep at night. Did that happen? Uh, that old bit. <laughs> yeah. A lot of lights, I tell you. <laughs> Looking around here. So you was, my, I go to, go to sleep at night, the place is lit up like an eighth grade dance. What are we doing? It's hard to get a night's sleep in that city, but I manage. I manage somehow, some way. So what are the fun shows that you really like to see there? The one I like to do the most is my friend Pete Holmes, who used to be in Chicago. Yeah. He's also from Lexington, Massachusetts, my hometown. Um, does a thing at the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater every month called Gut Bucket, which is also in conjunction with the T.J. Miller Productions uh, when he's in town. Chicago guy, and that's a lot of fun. That's everyone's favorite. I've heard about that. Yeah. yeah. So, I like doing that one. <laughs> what else? So, recently joined uh, Workaholics Anonymous. Did you ever join that? We meet five times a week at Kinko's. <laughs> hey, it's 12 steps. We have 350. <laughs> and I gotta get them done by Friday. <laughs> How is like New York stand-up different than Chicago stand-up? Besides the fact that there's like way, way more of it. Um, I think the super ego plays more of a role than the ego. <laughs> if we're going to go on a Freudian analysis, <laughs> and I hope we do because I don't understand much more than those two words, and even that borderline. What do you miss most about Chicago? I don't know the people. I think there's some really great people in Chicago. And it's nice to be able to do like a show like this, and have, it's not a hassle to get on. It's not like a big deal. And yeah. You can just, you know, you know there's no. In, it's not like right. broker. You know, out there it's like you're at a bazaar where you're trading. Uh, how can I help you for this and that? And, yeah. You know, everything is constantly, you know, business, business, business. And I like kind of how laid back Chicago is. It's more just living than it is. Uh, yeah. You know, trying to fight for survival. I don't have editing skills, so you're going to look like shit anyway. Fair, fair, fair enough. This fair isn't really enough. a camera. This is a squirt gun. <laughs> it's just not, the longest it's gag just ever. not working very well. I'm still smelling well. this flower. I've been smelling this flower. You feel like we're tricking you. That's what, oh, you got me.